welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've posted a vlog on my channel and that was mostly because I've been pretty busy recently. Throughout the month of August, I was very busy and I'm currently busy right now, but I was prepping for a market, the market happened, and now I am currently prepping for another market. So yeah, lots going on. I'm also very busy with work right now, so things are happening simultaneously and I'm just trying to manage my time work-wise personal practice wise and family wise lots and lots of things are going on <laughs> but because so much was going on in august i have a lot of footage and content i just haven't had the time to edit it until now so here is part one of the august vlog i decided to split it into two vlogs because there's just so much footage and i didn't want to throw anything out or cut anything that i enjoyed recording and took the time to record so rather than having like a big long one hour vlog i'm splitting them up into basically like two 30 minute vlogs and i hope that's okay and interesting and that way i am creating more videos <laughs> and you don't have to wait a whole month for one video if you do wait for these i don't know who waits for these maybe my friends do <laughs> but yeah in this vlog i cleaned up my studio a little bit i painted my patreon rewards for august what else did i do i got some products in for the holiday market that i'm doing and yeah i picked some colors for like dtf transfers for those products i also went to the golf course with my husband kobe i didn't play but i drew <laughs> so you'll see that there like a little touching grass break and yeah i set up a mock-up of my table or booth for the art market that i did which was called foster city summer days so you'll see that at the end that is all i have to say enjoy the rest of the vlog <laughs> I asked Kobe to send me a picture of myself, like a new portrait for my website about me. And he sends me all these cute photos, right? Cause he just takes random pictures of me all the time. Lots of good options, lots of good options. And then he sends me, <laughs> he sends me this one. <laughs> Why? Why would he do this to me? I don't know. <laughs> But for my website, I'm thinking about this one and this one. It's nice to have a husband who is into photography, but watch out because he'll pull this on you. <laughs> so while I was cleaning up my studio, I found some K-pop albums just laying around and I figured I would put them in my huge CD holder and photo card holder that I have on one of my shelves just to keep everything in one place and not everywhere around my room. Here's said photo card holder and CD album. <laughs> I also then started to do some Etsy orders. I've been getting a few Etsy orders because there have been a few sales on my shop. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me announce some sales. I had a Labor Day sale recently, and then just when I'm trying to get rid of some products, I put a sale on. So if you're interested in that, check out my Instagram because you'll be up to date on all of my Etsy sales and get things for a cheaper price. Hello, it's July 31st, <laughs> currently 3.30 p.m. Today I had an art class at another library. Same thing that I did in May, but um, one of the libraries reached out to do another one. So I hosted another two hour art class today. I was a little, I felt a little rusty, but I got it done. <laughs> now I'm home and I got some exciting mail. So, I've been posting on Instagram that there are a few tote bag designs that I want to do and I did a bunch of polls and stuff to see, you know, the type of tote bag that people like. Um, and so I came up with a design, which is 
this design right here. This is just printed on regular paper, but it says maarte, which means dramatic, extra <laughs> in Tagalog. But I did it in like a ribbon font, so it feels a little coquette. <laughs> and then I bought these. <sighs> Ta-da! Look how cute these tote bags are. These are like pink. I'm showing it in such a weird way. Um, pink kind of like LL Bean style tote bags. So it's like a natural canvas tote, but it has pink accents. It also has a zipper, baby. It also has a zipper enclosure and a zipper pocket. Hee hee hee. Nice. So it's a nicely constructed tote bag. And what I want to do is order some DTF transfers, probably from Ninja Transfer, just because I was doing some research. But I'm basically going to order like rolls or sheets for the tote bags for me to just iron on, and it'll go like right here. So basically, I printed out the scale that I have it at right now, um, just to see what it would look like on the bag itself. Yeah, currently it's a little big. Actually, it's not too big this is a good size so it fits perfectly and then order 25 because that's how many tote bags i ordered and i think that'll look super cute so yeah there's that um what else am i gonna do today I'm going to finish or no not finish yeah i'm gonna finish editing videos and then i'm gonna work out and then i'm gonna watch Deadpool later, which I'm excited about. Although I know so many spoilers because of TikTok, but it's okay. I'm somebody who actually really likes spoilers. <laughs> now I gotta find a place for these tote bags. This is a new day and here I'm working on my August Patreon rewards. This was the postcard design for August, which was leo themed for all my favorite leos in the world <laughs> but if you've been following me for a while you know that i've recently gotten back to traditional media especially gouache so here i am using some acrylic gouache and just painting over the design that i created i wish it was as fast as this but i really love the look of gouache and the layering effect that you could get i'm playing around with a lot of textures and just kind of color mixing on the paper and have really been enjoying it so far you'll also see me painting at my paint station and my desk i just kept moving around because i wasn't liking the paint station that much i'll talk about this later on but yeah if the scenery keeps changing it's because i kept going back and forth and i wasn't sure where to finish this painting but yes enjoy the painting montage and here's my patreon link if you are interested in becoming a patron hi patrons love you guys <laughs> Hello, it's, ow, I hit my finger. It's August 3rd today. It's currently 12.45 p.m. I had a lazy start to this morning. Um, Kobe and I had lunch at Jollibee today. They recently came out with a salted, no, not salted, sweet cream, wait, what is it called? Vanilla sweet cream cold brew. I don't even think it's vanilla. I think it's just sweet cream cold brew. Um, it tastes like iced great taste. <laughs> so if you ever had a great taste, like packet uh, it's like a three-in-one instant coffee packet uh, from the philippines and you mix it up normally you have a hot right but it's like if you just put ice in it this is what it tastes like and in bigger quantity um but i'm not mad about it because i love great taste but i don't know this like tastes like the philippines to me <laughs> it just like reminds me of the philippines i guess it's doing its job anyways um 
today I want to finish painting this painting right here, which is this month's Patreon postcard. I'm planning on having my um, previews out on Monday the 5th. So I have to finish this and the sticker designs and then we'll be good to go. I've been painting this in multiple places. I tried really hard to paint it at my paint station last night, but I don't know. I think I just have to be in the mood to paint over there. I'm just like, it feels boring. <laughs> <laughs> painting over there because there's nothing for me to watch again i have to try to get back into the habit of listening to music while painting just so i can work at that station and not bring all of my stuff over here because yeah i brought all my paints back and my palette and stuff it's all here anyways i'm gonna try to finish this today and then work on some other things i recently placed a bunch of orders for stuff for the market I'm doing. It's in two, through two weeks, three weeks actually. Um, it's in three weeks. <laughs> Wait, no, one, two. No, it's in two weeks. Um, another SJ made event and I wanted to buy some new stuff for my booth. So I bought a table runner. What are they called? Table runner with like my branding on it. My cute sign that I made out of foam core. I decided to create a table runner with the same design as well. I placed reorders for some of my stickers that I'm low on. I, oh, I got the tote bags, um, but now I have to do the DTF transfers, like order those. Problem with that is that I was going to borrow some Pantone fans from work, but I forgot. So that might have to wait till Tuesday or I just eyeball it and hope that I pick the right Pantone colors um, to print. I think today is just gonna be a painting day and maybe later I'll try to start mocking up my uh, table or my booth. We'll see, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Forced to be at the golf course today. <laughs> what do you mean? Back from the tee box here, hitting it to the where the flag is. Oh. We've only done it once each. Yeah, white tee's lower today. Okay. What, is, what does that mean? Uh, usually the white tee's up here. Oh. So we're gonna carry this one. All right. Goes. Hello vlog. I'm currently at the golf course. Let me move you over here. Currently at the golf course with my husband and our cousin. I don't know. I just wanted to get a tan today and be outdoors. So I'm sketching all of the flowers and foliage I see at the golf course. You could probably hear Kobe in the background. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep sketching all day. The breeze is nice. It's actually a really pretty golf course, but I don't know anything about golf. Kobe's been golfing like crazy. So I just wanted to see what the hype was about. <laughs> so I'm here and Kobe has a lot to say. So maybe I'll include what he says. He's weird. Okay, goodbye. Hole four, we are, um, <laughs> yeah, three bogeys plus three right now through three. Um, yeah, I really left my, uh, my chip short on third. Uh, could have saved it for par, could have made that pop, but it's all good, it's all good. Um, we're here on four, 280 yards to the pin, I drove it to the green. We got a chance here for birdie if I can make a good chip, so let's go. <laughs> Am I gonna put this in my vlog? <laughs> Probably, because you're a weirdo. <laughs> ta -da. here is my final spread. Here's me filling out some more Etsy orders. If you've watched my last few vlogs, you would have known that I talked about 
Etsy orders and filming the process and how interesting it is for some people to watch and I got a few comments that said people really like packing order videos so I tried to include all of the orders that I've gotten recently into this video because I have gotten quite a few and I'm really thankful to everyone who has purchased from my shop. I think in the past month or so, month and a half or so, I've been getting orders at least one to five orders daily which is such a big deal for me because I would get like one order in every three weeks before so I'm really happy that my Etsy is growing and I think that's because of all of the new products that I have on my shop and new followers on Instagram, my patrons, a lot of things have happened or are happening and that's the result of these orders. Does that make sense? Anyways, thank you so much for shopping on my Etsy and thank you to everyone who leaves a review because they make me so happy. And then here is me color picking some Pantones for the DTF transfers just so I know what the actual color will look like in real life versus digitally on screen. I wanted to match the icy pink from the bag accents so I had to find the perfect tone to fit within that family, both a light and a dark tone for the outline of the words and the inside of the words. Here's me making some more gotcha stickers for my gotcha pond for the Foster City Summer Fair. I was pretty much out of gotcha stickers because I ran out at the SJ Made event. So yeah, I just had to make a bunch more. And so basically I just replenished like 15 of each of the different stickers that I had and packed those up. I've also included my past Patreon postcards for the fair just so that I had some art prints and I only give these as rewards to my patrons or keep them in my secret Patreon shop for future patrons to order. Otherwise, these are only sold in person so they're a little bit more special and I don't put them on my Etsy. So if you're interested in any of these postcards, check out my Patreon. <laughs> I also got a bunch of packages, more of the balls, I think some ink, some laminate paper and sticker paper, and then I bought more packaging. And yeah, my studio was a mess during this time and I was just going 100 miles a minute, just getting everything done for this market, counting stock, putting things away making stickers all at the same time this was a very hectic day i don't know why i did that <laughs> i also got new display items like clear shelves for my stickers to sit on and assembled those put my trash away so many things are happening in this little montage but i hope you enjoy the, the hectic craze Again, for my gotcha stickers, I just make those at home with sticker paper and laminates and I have six different styles of stickers for the gotchas. So there's a fruit, Kirby, cats, I think eggs, flowers, and what is the last one? Oh my god, I can't remember what the last one is, <laughs> but those are also exclusive for my art markets. And here I am just counting 25 of each of my stickers. That's how much I brought to Foster City with me. And it was a lot more <laughs> than I needed. It was very slow and you will learn about that soon. But yeah, how would I know? You just have to anticipate and do as best you can. But here's all of the counting. Mm -hmm. 
and I don't know why, but I really liked these, the sound of the label maker. So I included it here. <laughs> Here is the mock-up display that I did for my booth. I didn't film me putting it up because I was so busy doing that, but here's the outcome. I had one table and I think it turned out really cute. So I was really happy with this display. Hello, it's been a while. There's so many sounds going on outside. Dogs are barking, there are people landscaping our front yard, someone's taking a shower. <laughs> Probably not the best time to start filming, but whatever. Um, yeah, I've been pretty busy lately getting ready for another market. This one's called Foster City Summer Days. It's also held by SJ Made if you're a Bay Area local foster cities down south um and it's basically like a fair or carnival that's like three days it starts friday saturday sunday but the vendors or like artist vendors are only there saturday sunday so today's wednesday <laughs> i've pretty much got everything the way i wanted to look but i am going to be short on a few stickers unfortunately I had placed uh, a reorder for some of my popular stickers like the Jollibee one, Pancit one, some of my Sunny Angels because I was low and I did that at the end of end of July <laughs> um, and it I just got a shipping notification yesterday so I doubt that I'm going to get it this week before Saturday. Fingers crossed but who knows yeah like i said today is wednesday august 14th it's currently 11 16 a.m i did some work this morning and now i'm just going to fulfill some etsy orders because i have a few and then work on new product ideas oh i also got my ninja transfers let me actually open the box okay here's the box just open open it up I got this a few days ago, but I didn't open it because I was busy like doing my displays and stuff. I was happy that I got this earlier than expected. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it on time for the market, but then I realized that it's a lot of work to do this right now. <laughs> so I'm not including these items in the market. Oh, there's actually a, a ripping thingy here. Okay. Whoa, let's see. What's this? What's this blue pack? Am I even supposed to open this? Is this just... Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's the instructions? And testers. Wow. They give... Oh. Oh, it's samples. Wow. Okay. Cool. Anyways, I will keep this in a sample file. Grandma stickers for any hard product or surface. I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't know where the camera was. Here's one of their stickers. So yeah, they have a ton of products. What's this paper? Is this just transfer paper? Oh no, the heat protector. Instructions, blah, 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 blah. Ah, here's the instructions I need for the DTF transfers. Quantity, I ordered 30, even though I only have 25 bags, just in case I mess up. <laughs> I don't know how I would fix the bag, but I just wanted a little extra. And yeah, let's see what they look like. I'm gonna roll it back up because I'm not going to use this right now. Aya, aya, aya. Ooh! <laughs> Ta-da! I just ordered it on the roll because I could cut it myself and I feel like it'd be easier for me to transfer. But they look pretty. Oh, the colors I picked are great. Thank goodness I borrowed the Pantone chips from work. <laughs> okay, cool. So I gotta roll that back up and put it somewhere safe because I probably won't get to this till next week after the, the fair, the um, event is over. But I'm happy. I have to count that it's 30. I mean, it looks like it is. A lot of ASMR for you guys. <laughs> oh yeah. Now I have to put this away. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep it in the same box for now. Nice. Yeah, that was cool. 
happy to have those and have to clean up a little bit. But yeah, now I'm just gonna fulfill three orders that I have and then start designing some products. Oh, I have to charge my iPad. I was out the other day. Oh, yesterday after work, um, we went to a Giants game, but beforehand Kobe took some photos in the city. So I just chilled at a coffee shop. And while I was at the coffee shop, I was just cranking out ideas for new products, for the holiday fair, for another art market that I'm doing. And time is ticking away, so I have to get those done like as soon as possible. So I'm gonna work on a few today and hopefully I can start getting them made and into production and be all set with all that. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. <laughs> One final montage of me fulfilling some more Etsy orders. Again, thank you to everyone who has ordered from my shop. But I wanted your opinion on what angle you liked the most for these uh, Etsy packing clips because I tried to do it in various angles, multiple angles, and I don't know. I'm trying to make it more interesting, <laughs> which is hard when you're just like packing things. And I don't have the ASMR of the packing because I. I do this at home so it's really loud in my house because I'm in a Filipino household and you're just gonna hear yelling and lots of TVs in the background <laughs> so I would rather voice over and do this but anyways let me know what angle you like the best you could timestamp it so that I know and I could film like that or if you like the variety I could keep doing it in all of these multiple angles but yeah let me know. <laughs> I'm going crazy editing this video. Here's another angle, by the way. Wow, she's crazy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop talking now. That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this part one of August vlog. I feel like it all happened so long ago because it's already like the second week of September, but it's all content that I wanted to share and record. So stay tuned for the second part, which will have the actual footage from the art market and it'll have like more product prep and stuff like that. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I am still editing my studio tour too. It's just taking so long because it's so much information because I really record it a lot. And then I want to add like graphics to it and stuff. <sighs> There's just so much to do with so little time. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward to the next one. I will see you guys there. Bye.